Hey guys, Steve Chase here. Which version of QuickBooks Online should you buy? So there's four different versions, Simple Star Essentials Plus and Advanced. We're going to look at comparing those different products, discovering which features you need to have, which ones might be nice to have in the, in the event that you want to upgrade down the road. We'll talk about how many users uh, each one comes with, how you can connect your accountants, users on there, and um, discover options that you've got here. So let's take a quick look. So this cheat sheet has the four different versions, Simple Star Essentials Plus Advanced. Quick note, it does not have self-employed. I took out self-employed because uh, that is a whole nother ecosystem to itself. So just recall, we are not dealing with self-employed QuickBooks here. All right, so the big decision is how many users do you need with QuickBooks? Uh, how many folks are going to be logging in? We can simple start gets you one, essentials three plus five, advanced 25. For the accountant users, two is for everyone except for advanced, and you can have three accountant users for the advanced. Accountant users have special permissions such as undoing bank reconciliations, batch reclassing writing off invoice. There's a, there's a lot of cool tools that the accountants get um, that are reserved for a special accountant user. And um, those folks would have to have a QBOA account uh, to get to get the invite there. So no doubt the best feature of all of QuickBooks Online is the bank feeds. They all have that feature available. 100% has changed bookkeeping um, just amazingly. All the features have invoicing. All the uh, QuickBooks Online's have QuickBooks Payments. Additionally, now with QuickBooks Payments, uh, you basically uh, have to apply for it. They do not have to accept you. <laughs> as rude as that sounds, if you don't get accepted, obviously you can't use it, but if you do get accepted, which most people do, um, you pay as you go. So if somebody pays an invoice with a credit card, it's going to be around 3%. It kind of depends on if it was manually typed in, swiped, or the customer entered it on their computer. There's different rates. About 3% is what um, will be the coverage uh, to have a payment be processed by credit card. Bank transfers, ACH transfers are 1% with a cap of 10 bucks. And, but it just makes life easier. You can send an invoice out, they can pay you, and electronically it gets into your bank account that day if you have instant deposit set up or at, no later than the next day, assuming there's no holds on the account. All the features have mileage, mileage tracking. That's uh, helpful for many. You would need to use your mobile phone turn on the geocache tracking, and after you get done driving, swipe left or right. If it was a business trip, you swipe right, add notes to it, left, you know, whatever, uh, personal, and at the end of the year, you can download an, a CSV log, which will create an Excel spreadsheet that shows all of your miles you drove in a certain year, and uh, you can share that with your accountant and take the deductions of the mileage if you're taking that. Receipt captures it. A newer feature and it's a powerful feature where you get your own dedicated email and an email might be something you set up you know maybe like receipts uh, company a at qbodocs.com once you create your receipt and I have a video on this um, you can then forward Vi uh, receipts to that and QuickBooks automatically looks at the date, the dollar amounts, and it matches and magically appears in your transaction. So it's a great feature to manage receipts. Just get an email and forward it off. All the features allow you to do estimates. Estimates are non-posting proposals until you convert them to an invoice. All versions allow you to pay for payroll, which is an additional charge for payroll. All the versions allow you to create sales tax reporting. It's pretty slick. It has different entities and based on the invoice address it can determine what the local sales tax is based on your location. All of the 
QuickBooks features allow you to do 1099 forms, and that is also it's a feature enabled, but it, it, there is extra cost to that if you're going to use it. So it starts off around $14 to file three 1099s, and then additional 1099s that you have is going to be um, a couple of bucks. So you know, if you were to send out 20 contractors their 1099s in QuickBooks, it would be around $40. So um, the pricing kind of goes up. You get early bird discounts if you file it the first few days of January. And as you get closer to January 31st, it goes up. So you can save money by being prepared and filing those 1099s as soon as you reconcile, you know, your December statements and such. All right. The next features that we see here, probably one of the best new features that's come around is this pay bills with Melio. Um, very powerful. I'm just going to change this here so we can kind of see what we're talking about real quick here. Love it. Now you got to be on essentials or higher. And what this is, is it allows you to create a bill inside QuickBooks, which is a payable, and then click schedule bills online, which QuickBooks will mail uh, the, a paper check to your vendor for you for free. Um, right now, at least, at the recording of this video, it's free. Or direct deposit. And when you go and do your very first one, after you set up your Melio account, you can have emails sent to your vendor that ask them to confirm how they like to receive payment. So if they want to receive direct deposit, the vendor enters their bank account information. Um, if they want that paper check, they'll choose paper check and it will go to the address on file, on the in, on the bill, or the ones that they provide. So it is amazing. you got to be on essentials or higher to do that feature, but total game changer. Now, just a side note here, if you've had QuickBooks Online for a while and you've had Bill.com, unfortunately, you can't have two things happening. You can't have a bill.com and a million So you'd have to uh, remove your bill.com subscription, disassociate that app and add the Melio app to QuickBooks Online if you're wanting to do that. So um, I check out another video of mine that talks about the Melio payments. All right. Uh, delayed charges, credits, higher advance. Um, I want to talk about this recurring transactions. I love this feature, gotta be on essentials plus advanced, but um, really powerful when you wanna have a transaction auto post or remind you monthly or quarterly or yearly. There's a lot of cool things you can do with these recurring transactions. I like using it for recurring sales receipts tied to my QuickBooks payments account where we can have automatic payments happen at a certain interval, such as maybe the first of every month, there's a customer payment QuickBooks will handle the payment process, send an email to the customer, money's in the bank on that day. It's pretty powerful. Multi-currency. The only thing I'm going to talk about multi-currency here is if you turn it on, you can't turn it off. Okay. <laughs> I've got clients that have euros and such, and um, once it's on, it's on. You know, you'll have the, the whole exchange gain or loss and tracking as well that goes with as well. Time tracking is features. Um, Essentials are higher. Billing customers for time. Essentials are higher. Trial balance report. General ledger reports. You need to not be on simple start to have those features. And now we're getting into the plus or advanced. And I think um, creating budgets. That's a that's a good one. I wish every version had it, but you got to be on plus or advanced. And so with your budgets, you can compare. Uh, project budget to actual so that's really powerful um, but you gotta be on plus or advanced purchase orders if you send purchase orders to your vendors convert them bills you gotta be on plus or advanced tracking inventory you want to do that in quickbooks be cautious about you know tracking on inventory there's lots of ways you can still track inventory but not necessarily have it dialed into quickbooks some folks do that a lot class tracking Location tracking, really neat stuff. The location tracking, you don't even have that ability in desktop, but that's a great feature on plus or advanced. 
if you're importing batch invoices, you got to be on plus or advanced. They've recently included the plus on that. It used to only be advanced, but now it's available on plus. And now for the last ones, Fathom reporting is just high end analytic data reporting. That's on advanced, customize access by roles. We're really trying to get the mid market, I think, for QuickBooks Advanced is trying to get um, these mid range businesses that want a higher end version of QuickBooks Online. And they've got these advanced. So as you can see here, um, the ability to do that now of these items here, unlimited class, unlimited locations, unlimited chart of accounts. Um, one point here is this restore company data. If you're not using um, QuickBooks Online, I am going to make um, a recommendation. It's called Rewind App. And I'll have a link to that in the in the description as well. But Rewind App is my favorite tool. And it gives me peace of mind knowing that if, if something happened to my QuickBooks, I can go back in time to like maybe two days ago or something like that. Or, or maybe a user screwed up an invoice and it's been five versions. We need to go back three versions ago and we, we can look at the timestamps and we can click a button and it will go back to that particular time frame of rewinding back in time to a specific transaction. Or I, with Rewind, we can say, go back um to 2:22 on last thursday when things were good in quickbooks and after two uh, sorry in 2:23, we had this horrible app connection and we need to go back to to that time frame we could do that with the rewind app but that's an additional cost that's an app that's connected to re, um, your quickbooks account so if you're not on advance and you want a backup on any of these three here i, re I recommend rewind app and um, so that's that's about it as far as what I want to share with you on the cheat sheet here. If you don't have a QuickBooks account yet, uh, be sure to click on this link here. That's going to get you um, the 12 month, 30 day, uh, 12 months, 30% off uh, discount, um, which is better than anything out there you should because I have a special promo with my pro advisor QuickBooks transactions that I do so be aware of that that will get you going here and um, thank you for watching this video I hope it was helpful for you and drop me a note in the chat or description if you've got any questions you guys take care